Hey everybody, it's Ann from Super Stitch. Um, while everyone's been quarantined, we actually just got three new models in from Janome. And you'll actually recognize these. These have been our most popular models that we've ever had, plus we've got one new one in the line. Um, this is our 3160, so it's just been restyled. We've got a nice, attractive bronze color to it. It's the 12 pound machine, so it's really, really nice for your quilting um, camps and things like that. It comes with the extension table, the hard cover, and it includes all your, your quarter inch foot, your walking foot, your free motion foot. So it's a great package. So just a couple of features why this machine is so popular and why we love it so much. First of all, it's fully computerized. You've got a drop-in bobbin. You've got Janome's patented needle plate that will um, show you what we do with that. You've got an automatic thread cutter. We have six layers of pressure adjustment. We've got needle up down, you've got auto lock, speed control, start stop button, everything you need to make your uh, sewing very quick and easy. So just to show you our um, couple of things on our patented needle plate here, we've got a nice cornering marking here. So if I needed to start 5 eighths of an inch from the corner, I can start here and I'm making a 5 eighths inch mark here and I'm going to choose stitch number two. This is my display right up here. So this is going to, um, I'm now selecting stitch number two. This is my default width, my default length. And then I can choose either one of those and I could move my needle over and I could change my stitch length if I wanted to. I've got speed control here. I can actually just use my start stop button here. This is actually gonna start with an automatic back stitch. When the edge of my fabric gets to this mark right here, I know I'm 5 eighths of an inch from my corner and I'll just hit my reverse key and it's gonna do a back stitch. Come forward, it's gonna stop needle down and then I pivot and I'm ready to do my 5 eighths of an inch seam again. And again, I'm gonna start with a back stitch. And I'm going to finish with a back stitch. And then I can use my thread cutter to automatically cut the thread. I just now have a perfectly reinforced corner, 5 eighths of an inch from the edge. We have fully computerized buttonholes. All you have to do is place the button in the buttonhole foot. Snap that on. And just a quick little tip, just do needle down, needle up your threads under your foot. And I can choose from all of these different styles of buttonholes. I'll go ahead and select number 50. This is actually telling me to pull down my buttonhole lever. So I'm going to reach back here and pull down my buttonhole lever. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a buttonhole. Now, if I hold down my thread cutter button here, when the thread cutter is on the screen, it's automatically gonna cut the thread when it completes the buttonhole. This buttonhole is going to stay stitched the left side. Do the zigzag on the coming forward, then it stays stitches the right. So both sides are sewn with the beading part in the same direction, so you have perfect feed balance. It's gonna lock off. Now it's gonna automatically cut the thread and raise the needle. So you have a perfect buttonhole. Plus we have several other options as well, and you can always change the width and length as desired. This machine has 60 stitches. A couple of my favorites here, you've got a piecing stitch all set for your, your piecing. It automatically defaults to a, a short stitch length for your quilters. We've got some middle left and right justified applique stitches. Um, you've got your feather stitches. You've just got a nice selection of everything that you need to get you going. If you're a quilter and you're doing your piecing, you're piecing all your quilt pieces together, um, we've got a perfect stitch that's already set for you, and that's our stitch number 30. The machine comes with a quarter inch foot, so you're all ready to go. All I need to do 
is just place my fabric under here and I have my perfect quarter inch seam with my perfect stitch length. If I want to, I can move my needle position over to do a scant quarter. If you're a quilter and you're quilting pair, you're piecing your pairs, this is a great machine for that as well because of our patented needle plate. And I'm gonna choose stitch number three that's gonna lock at the beginning and end for me. I've changed my stitch length to 1.8 and I've engaged my automatic thread cutter. All I have to do is line up my angle. In this case, it's a 60 degree angle. I'm lining that up right here. I'm lining my edge up with the foot. That's automatically going to start a quarter inch in and when this edge gets to this quarter inch mark here I'm going to touch my reverse key. It's going to lock off and it's going to cut. I now have my quarter inch ready to go to my next pair. This is the perfect machine for quilters, so you can go to Quilt Camp. It's only 12 pounds. It gives you everything you need to do your piecing, your quilting, your applique, and it's lightweight, easy to carry. Okay, the R4120 has all the features that the 3160 has, but now we've added quite a few extra things. Uh, one of my favorites is that um, I can open my door, which is really helpful to get in here and clean, and I can make sure my thread's all the way in my take-up lever, so I like being able to open that door. Um, I also have a more direct selection here. So I've got my direct from the keypad here. I just select the stitch. Width and length is displayed there. I've got different modes that I could select the stitch. And all I have to do is enter in the stitch number. And that's going to display the stitch, the number of the stitch, the recommended foot, my default width, my default length. And to change it, all I do is just adjust it right here. Some of the features that I personally like if on the 4120, if you like to do applique, we've added several more applique stitches. And there is middle, left, and right justification. Um, we actually go over those. If you're not sure what that means, we're happy to show you that. But it's a wonderful feature to have those options. We also have reverse, so everything, um, we have mirror imaging. So I can mirror image stitches. I can combine stitches and I can also do lettering. So we'll just show you a couple little applique stitches that I like. I'm using the open toe F foot, which is included with the machine. So if I just wanted to do a, just a plain satin stitch, I can select a zigzag and then I can change my width and I can change my length for a nice satin stitch. So just like that, I have a perfect satin stitch. So needle stops down, I can lift and pivot. I like to just drop a couple stitches right in that corner. Come around. And I've got a beautiful satin stitch. Now I also have one of my favorite stitches to use here is um, number seven, and this is a right justified. So I could taper that into um, points if I needed to. So this stitch is going to create a nice nice little triple stitch along the outside and I'm just using the default settings but of course you can always make that longer or wider adjust however it is you would like to another stitch that I like to use especially if you have curvy applique is our um, number eight and I call this my Walt stitch it's very very easy to maneuver curves with this because it's just one forward and an over back. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just a really, really nice applique stitch. So again, we have several applique stitches 
on this machine. And we also have lettering and combination. So I can combine stitches and I can add lettering as well. This is just showing um, combination of stitches and mirror imaging and some lettering. So you can combine decorative stitches and lettering. So that's our Janome 4120. Our latest model is in addition to this line, and this is our new 5300. So now we're adding a few more features and um, things that you'll really enjoy here. First of all, this model now features our Easy Set bobbin. And by the way, all of these machines do have needle threaders. This one is our new Easy Set bobbin. So you just bring your thread in and cut it off, and you don't have to bring the thread up, just, just you just start sewing. We do have our new, our newest needle threader. We've got a lot more stitches here. Again, if you like to do applique, there are so many variations of applique stitches here. Um, lots of new quilting stitches. One in particular that um, I absolutely love is our serpentine stitch. I can make that wider. I can change it while I'm sewing. So this is a default, but then I can even make that longer and wider. Decorative stitches, quilting stitches, applique stitches to choose from, new buttonholes, um, a lot more decorative stitches here, some fun play stitches, and all of your lettering as well. We also have added a knee lift, so when you are doing your applique, the knee lift will keep your hands free. So I'll show a couple of the new applique stitches and also using our knee lift while we're doing applique. So I've got a couple other variations here, and then I'm going to actually, if, if you like to do turned applique, we have a terrific stitch for that as well. Here's another variation of our applique stitch. So this is actually my Walt stitch again. Now when I get to the corner, now I can just simply hit my knee lift and that's going to raise my foot for me so I don't have to take my hands off my fabric. And if you're doing a turned applique, we have a really nice stitch here. And I usually use either matching thread or invisible thread for this. And this stitch just is going to take and just roll the folded edge right under it just looks like you've hand done hand-turned applique. One of my favorite stitches. You just won't even see that. If you like to do real close work like this, this machine can also accept the magnifier. <laughs> 